Howdy freeze dryers, welcome back to Live Life Simple. Max and I are super excited to share our new and improved freeze dried dog food recipe with you today. We've uh, made some tweaks, we have made some improvements, so if you wanna freeze dry some food for man's best friend, stick around. So before we get started, it goes without saying I am not a veterinarian. This is what I use for our dog. And every breed and size of dog, just like human, has different dietary requirements. So please consult your vet or do some research. Uh, you can make your own tweaks to this recipe. This is really just a, a baseline for uh, your own creation. If you'd like to follow my recipe, here are my ingredients. I use cooked salmon. You could swap this out for beef, pork, whatever you wanted to do. I use salmon because it's lean and healthy, but it's not the most cost-effective way to make this recipe. I also need some organic brown rice, sweet potatoes, broccoli, lentils, a little bit of corn, some peanut butter because dogs love peanut butter. You may wanna be uh, conscious of what kind of peanut butter you get. Some black beans and some strawberries. And even though the comments section will probably fill up with many comments against this, I cook the meat before I put it into the dog food. Uh, dogs are domesticated now, they're not a pack animal anymore. And a lot of the meat that you buy in the store now is processed, it has a bunch of bacteria and other junk that you don't want your dog to eat. So cooking will usually rid most or all of that away from it. The salmon, I actually smoke it on the smoker. It seems extreme, but hey, I love my dog. So this salmon is already cooked, it's frozen. I'm gonna let this thaw while we prepare some of our other ingredients. And some of these other ingredients, the benefits of this for your dog don't come out until you cook them. We're gonna work on the brown rice next. And this rice we're gonna do in the Instant Pot. I'm gonna do two cups of uncooked at a time. That usually gets, gets you the best uh, finished product. I like to rinse the brown rice before I use it. So two cups of uncooked rice, two and a half cups of water. We're going for 24 minutes on this brown rice and then you're gonna to want to naturally release the pressure. Once that is done, your rice should be ready to go. You're just gonna fluff it up a little bit and it's ready to serve. Next, I'm gonna slice up some sweet potatoes. It's very important that when you're cooking all of this stuff, you're not adding salt to it. It's not gonna be good for your dog if there's salt or spices or anything in here. I just want raw ingredients. Uh, you can bake these or I'm actually gonna boil these. I'm gonna cube them just so they're in a little bit better shape because you can actually do this recipe blended or you can do it in a whole smaller ingredients too. I'm actually gonna blend mine because it seems like it goes a little farther on the tray. And then I'm just gonna boil those until they are tender and cooked. Next we're gonna do our broccoli. I'm just gonna cut it rough cut, put it into a food processor. And if you do some research on uh, raw broccoli, there's some interesting research that if you let it sit before you cook it, it's actually a lot more uh, cancer preventative and just uh, it's better for you that way. So I let mine sit for 30 to 40 minutes before I cook it. So this is how thin I make ours. You can process it down even smoother or you could actually just blend all of the uh, loose, the raw ingredients like this together and make a paste or kind of a, a goo out of it. Our rice is done now and a lot of our other ingredients are real quick to put together. And you'll notice in this recipe, since there are so many ingredients and so many things to do, you might have to actually take your time and do them kind of individually and then mix them all into a giant mixing bowl like this works really well. So I think what we're gonna do is start putting some of the ingredients into the bowl since we have them ready. Uh, we can kind of get this recipe going. This recipe is kind of geared towards a smaller batch. You can, uh, you can definitely multiply it if you have the space or if you have like a giant stand mixer or something would be really helpful for this. But for most people, the smaller batch is gonna be the easiest way to do it with uh, the, the ingredients ready to be put together. Okay, so our first ingredient that we're gonna do is six ounces of the cooked salmon. I'm gonna add that into there right now. And then we want one cup of our brown cooked rice 
And depending on what you do with the beans, which we're gonna do a little bit later, you can actually cook this rice in some chicken broth, but that will probably depend on whether or not you wanna use chicken broth for one, or if you're using canned beans or uh, beans like this that you have to cook. Uh, since I'm gonna cook mine, I'm gonna cook them in the broth. Otherwise, you could just add the broth in too if you wanted to. My sweet potatoes are done, but I have not started my broccoli, so I'm gonna do that now. We just basically need to cook them until they're tender and we need one and a quarter cups of sweet potatoes. Those should be super tender, and that way when you put all this together, it's just gonna kind of blend in with everything else. And then I'm gonna add three quarters of a tablespoon to one tablespoon of peanut butter. It's gonna get mixed into this mixture. And then three eighths of a cup of cooked corn. And then about a cup and a quarter of these diced strawberries. Uh, again, if, you're, if you don't think your pet is gonna eat these, you may wanna process them down a little bit smoother to like a paste texture. We're gonna follow that up with three quarters of a cup of broccoli. One cup of cooked black beans. So I'm gonna get my lentils going with a little chicken bouillon cube. Two more ingredients, we need one cup of cooked lentils. And then our last ingredient is probably the most important. If you're making your own dog food, you need some sort of vitamin supplement. They make it in powders and all kinds of things. Many different uh, companies make it. The company that we go through is called Balance It. And I mentioned in my dog food video several years ago that that uh, website is actually really good for creating the proper recipe uh, kind of tailored for your dog. So you can actually do that there as well. And if you have a big uh, stand mixer, then you, by all means, use that stand mixer. It's gonna make your life easier. Otherwise, I just kind of get in here and smash it all together. That's the best way to mix it. Make sure everything is equal and even. And uh, this is gonna go sp be spread out on a tray. So you want to make sure that all those ingredients are kind of evenly mashed and mixed. And we'll get Max in here to do a taste test before we freeze dry, but I've got a feeling it's not gonna be an issue with him. And if you have a cat and not a dog, stay tuned because I'm gonna have a cat recipe coming up in the next few weeks. And now the true test, we'll see if the hound likes it. That answers that. I'm gonna put our finished mixture on pre-cut parchment from freeze drying supplies. This batch gave us about five cups of finished product. That should be just about the perfect amount for a medium tray. So I need to do this three times, or if you have the new freeze dryer, four more times, and that'll give you just enough. But we're not quite done yet. So we have five cups in here. If we put the dividers in the 10 portion setting, then these will be half cup portions. And the tricky part is figuring out how much is the right amount for your dog. It's probably a trial and error thing, and it depends on a lot of things. It could depend on your breed of dog. It can depend on their activity level, their age, all kinds of different stuff. So just kind of uh, maybe experiment with it. And before I put this in the freezer with a lid on it, I'm gonna weigh this before and after. That'll give us an idea of what we need to uh, add for water back in. And it's 1938 grams. I'm gonna put a lid on this and then we will make this a few more times. Put it all in the freezer and then we will get to freeze drying. All right, let's get some freeze dried doggy food going. Take a minute to subscribe to Live Life Simple. If you haven't already, we do freeze drying on this channel. You can click the bell to get notifications every time we put out a new video. That will be Sundays at 8 a.m. for us. If you like the content we're putting out there, let us know and let YouTube know. Give us a thumbs up. It really helps get this, this information, these videos out to freeze dryers and people that will be interested in freeze drying. If you have questions that need answered about freeze drying, check out our social media groups. It's retired at 40s freeze drying group. And then we have a Facebook group as well as a MeWe group. Any of the products you've seen on the video today, uh, the dividers, the parchment paper, uh, the lids for the trays can be found at freezedryingsupplies.com. These are all products that we have developed from scratch that did not exist before we developed them. Uh, we are trying to streamline the whole freeze drying process from start to finish. So make sure you check that site out, freezedryingsupplies.com. If you would like to check out pricing specs, 
all that good stuff for uh, freeze dryers. We're using Harvest Right freeze dryers today. We ask that if you do, please go through our affiliate link. It greatly helps this YouTube channel. It helps our freeze drying media groups. It helps the freeze drying community in general. We put that small commission that we get from each of those sales back into the community. We help build up our resources for freeze drying. It helps us develop new products. Uh, it also helps this YouTube channel because uh, Google doesn't pay very well. 3320 is what we ended up with. I'm gonna put these right on the scale so we can see how much water we need to add. I think one thing that's gonna be really important with this recipe is figuring out how much your dog is actually gonna need for a serving. These are half cup each, so that should make it really easy. I think I'm gonna package them in, uh, in one cup sizes, so two of these in each bag. And just to make sure we're consistent, this one is 1196, 1036, 1058, and 1142, pretty consistent. Dividers popped out nice and easy. I'm put two of these in each side of the Mylar. That'll give me a one cup serving. That, sh that should get our dog two meals. Put in an oxygen absorber, two of our portions into the vacuum chamber sealer. So each one of these pucks is half a cup, a half cup serving. I figured out that we need to add 83 grams or about 83 grams of water back in. That equals out to about two thirds of a cup of water. So I'm gonna rehydrate this and then I have another bowl that has blue buffalo dog food in it, which is expensive dog food. We're gonna see which one Max prefers, the blue buffalo kibble or the homemade freeze dried dog food. Right on cue. Go ahead. So I know this is a ton of work making freeze dried dog food. Uh, we don't feed it to them all the time, but it's great for traveling, for road trips, or if you run out of dog food or whatever. And this is so much healthier for your dog to eat. Um, even the good quality dog food, sometimes it just has some really nasty stuff in it. I hope you found this video helpful and entertaining. In the meantime, make sure you freeze dry some dog food for your dog and remember to live life simple. We'll catch you next week.